Welcome back to Candidate Forum 2012. I'm Mike McKee, and tonight's forum is a joint production of the Lake City Columbia County Chamber of Commerce, the Lake City Reporter, and Florida Gateway College. The rules for the final segment of the night with the candidates for Columbia County Superintendent of Schools are that each candidate will be given a chance to make a two-minute opening statement and a two-minute close, and each candidate is afforded two minutes to answer each question. Let's get started by meeting the four candidates for Superintendent of Schools. Mm -hmm. This race, the incumbent decided not to seek re-election. Tonight's candidates are Terry Huddleston, Sam Markham, Kenneth Burt, and Glenn Hunter. We drew numbers prior to coming into the studio this evening, and candidate Huddleston drew the number one. Mr. Huddleston, you have two minutes to make an opening statement to the voters of Columbia County. Hello, I am Terry Huddleston. I'm candidate for superintendent of schools. Uh, in Columbia County. I have served as an educator uh, for over 33 years in this county. I've served as a teacher, a dropout coordinator, a dean of students, an assistant principal, and principal at all three levels, elementary, middle, and high school for over 20 years. As your superintendent, I will improve student discipline, I will aggressively recruit outstanding uh, teachers, and I will redirect as much money as po of our tax dollars as possible uh, to the classroom and teacher salaries. I'm a lifelong educator with proven results. Eastside Elementary was a C school. Under my leadership, the school improved to a B, and then we had four consecutive school grades of A. Columbia High School was a D. For the past two years, Columbia High received a school letter grade of B, with the last letter grade being a penalty B, where we scored high enough to receive an A. I have been informed this year that we will probably be an A school. This year we have two schools that received a D, Richardson and Black. I'm the most qualified candidate with the experience to review school data and implement the necessary curriculum changes uh, and initiatives that will improve student performance. We have a new principal at Black, Ms. Marilyn Gassett, former Columbia County Teacher of the Year, and a new not yet named principal at Richardson. I look forward to working with these principals, teachers, and parents to provide an outstanding educational experience for the students at these schools. As superintendent, I will implement a district-wide call system that will call parents when their child is absent. I will implement a town hall meeting in Fort White on the first Tuesday of each month. I will implement these curriculum initiatives necessary to improve the uh, student scores at Black and Richardson. I will improve student discipline by instituting a zero tolerance policy. I will aggressively recruit teachers so our students have role models and provide STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math for our teachers in service. Columbia County School District will be an A district. For these reasons, I'd encourage you to vote for me, Terry Huddleston, for superintendent. Thank you very much, candidate Huddleston. It's time now for candidate Markham to make a two-minute opening statement. Mr. Markham, you have two minutes to reach the voters of Columbia County. Good evening. My name is Grady D. Sam Markham, candidate Columbia County School Superintendent. The superintendent needs to have the right qualifications and the right experiences if you're going to serve this district. I have a master's degree from the University of Florida. I also have certification as, as a administration supervision and mathematics. I'm the only superintendent in Columbia County history to graduate from the Chief Executive Leadership Program in Greensboro, North Carolina. And I'm proud to say that I have other leadership qualities that I gain by being a commission officer in the United States Army. I'm a graduate of the Artillery and Missile School at Fort Sill, Sill Oklahoma. Now let's talk a little bit about experience. I, you know, I, I, I started at the bottom. I've been a teacher. I was a principal for 24 years. I was a school board member, and you know, last but not least, I'm the only candidate in this race that's had the privilege of serving the Columbia County School District as superintendent for four years. Now, all of these areas are important. I can tell the Columbia County folks that I have served for 45 plus years serving and proving that I have positive results in all areas of education, not just as a principal, but as a school board member. I sat on the NEFAC Board of Directors for 13 of our fellow superintendents for four years. It's like saying, I've been there and done that. And I just say to the folks here in Columbia County, you give Sam Markham the opportunity to return as your superintendent 
And I promise you, you won't have to worry about the district being a C as it is now. We'll put it back to where it was when I left, and that was a B only seven points away from A. Thank you very much. Thank you, candidate Markham. Time now for an opening statement from candidate Kenneth Burt. Mr. Burt, you have two minutes to reach the voters of Columbia County. Thank you. Good evening. And I want to thank you for allowing me to come into your house tonight and into your trucks if you're out there on the radios and, and speak with you. My name is Kenneth Burt Sr. and I'm running for superintendent of schools of Columbia County. In my 26 years of education, I've worn many hats. I've been a teacher, a coach, athletic director, and recently dean of students at Fort White High School. All but seven of those 26 years have been in the Columbia County system. I'm an avid hunter, attend Christ Central Ministries, and lead the singing at Circle Cross Cowboy Church. My wife of 44 years, Karen, and I also keep up with five very involved grandchildren. My desire to become superintendent stems from years of frustration with the way the system does business. At the beginning of each year, teachers are asked to think outside the box. However, the administration keeps on doing things the same old way regardless of the new ideas that are given to them. Teachers are FCAT stressed out, students are FCAT tested out, and too many students are dropping out of our system. It's time for new leadership with new ideas. My plan for the next four years is to eliminate waste, increase employee productivity, decrease administrative costs, and create a competitive teacher salary scale so that we can get the best teachers in our county. Our students deserve and require the best teachers, the best facilities, and the best materials that we can afford. It's time to put the emphasis in the classroom where it belongs. Thank you. Thank you very much. Time for the final opening statement from candidate Glenn Hunter. Mr. Hunter, you have two minutes to reach the voters of Columbia County. Thank you, Mike. Uh, my name is Glenn Hunter. I am a candidate for superintendent of schools. I'm married to Laura Kennan. Hunter, and uh, we've been married 37 years. Uh, she's been a teacher in the Columbia County School System for 37 years. We have two sons, Travis and Kennan, uh, daughter-in-law Amy, and two granddaughters, Kaylin and Elena. I um, graduated from Columbia High School in 1972, graduated from here at uh, Florida Gateway College in 76, went on to the uh, University of Florida, got a degree in 1970. 76 and uh, got a degree in the University of Florida in recreation in 1977. I did graduate here in 74. I came back to Columbia County and have spent approximately 35 years working with city county governments and school boards uh, in building facilities for young people, building schools, and I've had a, a rich opportunity working with interlocal agreements and in, in governments and I have an understanding of what it takes for governments to work together. I, in 1979, I became the owner of Hunter Printing Company. I've spent 33 years as a business owner. I uh, have uh, made a successful business out of my company. Uh, of course, just like the school system in the last four or five years, we have struggled in business like uh, all of you out there in the community have. And we've had to deal with the very hard, uh, tough uh, realities uh, of the world uh, in my business. In, the, in 1988, I became a school board member and uh, have served continuously since uh, 1988 for 24 years and to become superintendent of schools I did have to resign and make a commitment to run for the Columbia County School Superintendent job. I have to tell you that was, a, that was very tough for me but uh, I believe that uh, the leadership in the superintendent's office has been lacking and that uh, it is very necessary that our school district make a new change form teams and listen to the public and go forward and take care of the business of the district. Thank you. Thank you very much, candidates, for those opening mm -hmm. remarks. It's time now for the all-important question and answer segment of the broadcast. To ask the questions tonight for the fifth segment is editor of the Lake City Reporter, Robert Bridges. Robert? Thanks, Mike. We'll start with uh, candidate Huddleston. Mr. Huddleston, what makes you a better choice for this post than your opponents? Well, I'm a better choice because of my experience day in and day out in the school system, working as a teacher, uh, working as a uh, uh, dropout uh, prevention, teaching math at the high school level, at the middle school level, junior high level, uh, working as a coach, all those experiences have led up to, uh, to, to uh, form my leadership uh, type style. Uh, I look forward to uh, working uh, with our teachers. I've always tried to be a teacher's principal. Today I spend a lot of time meeting with our principals uh, and our teachers, 
assistant principals at school and working on our uh, schedule. Uh, all of these things uh, work together. I've spent the last 25 of my 30 years with my goal to be uh, superintendent of schools and serve this district. Uh, it's very important to me. It's been my lifelong dream and it's been my entire career in this county for well over 30 years. I've been well trained. I've attended many conferences. And uh, the other port, the part that's so important for our school, uh, for our community here, is the development of educational and uh, career opportunities for our students as they leave high school and either go to Florida Gateway College or other universities. It's very important to continue our work with the Inland Port to continue to develop jobs so that our students can go into that arena. I've been able to meet with uh, different uh, groups of individuals that are coming to Lake City. Uh, for instance, most re recently with the Rockefeller Group, a multi-million dollar company, and where I had the opportunity to sell Columbia County, all of our schools, as well as uh, Columbia High. So I, I ask our, uh, our citizens out there, who do you want standing up talking to uh, this type of uh, individuals? You want somebody that's been in the trenches, working every day, uh, doing their very best, working with students, teachers, uh, and parents to make our school system the very best that it can. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Huddleston. Mr. Markham, what makes you a better choice for this post than the three men to your left and right? Well, I'm delighted to say that, that uh, I'm the only candidate in this race that has four years of serving the Columbia County School District. I served as superintendent of this county from 04 to 08. And long before I become superintendent, I, I started at the bottom. I committed myself early when I got out of the Army. I got a job uh, teaching math with Mr. Philip Browning at Lake City Junior High School. And I started at the bottom and worked my way up to the top. After being at, at the math position with Mr. Browning, I later was one of the first uh, teachers to go and serve at Richardson School in, a, in the integration period of time. And throughout my life, I dedicated myself when I was in just 20-something years old that I was going to be an educator. I love children. I've worked with children all my life. And the, and the reason why that I think I'm the best is we've got a critical four years. Our economy has not grown. I know how I've already proved that I can balance a budget for four years with a decrease in budget. And folks, you don't have to gamble and cross your fingers when you're dealing with Sam Markham. I've been there, done that. I work for my experience. I make no apologies for my experience. I make no apologies for my age. And I will not get on my counterparts here that are running because they're just useful young men. Someday they'll get as old as I am and they'll be just as smart as I am. Then they're all good men. I love them all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Markham. Mr. Burt, same question. Why are you the best choice for this post? Well, I guess because I'm younger than Sam. I don't know. I appreciate that comment, Sam. Uh, I think one of the main, main things that's going to help me is I spent seven years out of this county working in Duval County and St. John's County. I've seen better ways of doing things. I've seen ways that can save money. Uh, I'm concerned with the $4.1 million that we're going to spend in this year's budget just on administrative office. I have concerns that a school board is paying $100,000 a year that we're losing to the swimming pool. Now, I realize the swimming pool is, is necessary, but in every county that I've been to, the swimming pool is run by the rec department, not out of money that should be going in classrooms. So uh, I, I just believe that I'm bringing some fresh ideas to the table. Uh, I have no family here to speak of. Uh, you know, when I go into the county office, I can go in there, uh, you know, although I know a bunch of them and think the world of them, I can go in there and I think we can be honest. We can find ways to cut, cut uh, money, save money. I also want to help the kids that don't get counted in the dropout rates. If you saw the paper the other day, you know, we had a dropout rate of 87%. What they didn't show you was the kids who never got out of middle school. And this is why I wanted to create the new alternative school at Knee Black Elementary now, uh, just that, 
that school is losing students every year. The community is getting older. It's time that we can make that a more viable part of my administration. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Burt. Mr. Hunter, same question. What makes you the best choice for superintendent? Thank you, Mr. Bridges. I believe that uh, being a business owner for 33 years um, has certainly qualified me to be a candidate uh, for superintendent that can make a difference at the Columbia County School System. It's a threefold effect. I have, have tremendous experience in community, working with city county government. I have 24 years serving on the school board and our primary mission serving on the school board was first to make sure that our budget's always balanced. Uh, having the opportunity to work in the administration level, looking over the schools, working with failing schools, bringing in programs that could help schools pass um, certainly gives me the strength, uh, I believe, to be a superintendent candidate. Uh, in business, I've had to make tough, hard decisions, and I've had to make decisions very quickly. I feel that uh, the Columbia County School System uh, is struggling at the top in leadership. They need strong business principles of a strong businessman who will bring together the kind of teamwork that can respect the public and respect the employees that work in the school district. We have a tremendous amount of waste in production as it relates to the ability of our employees to get the job done. Our community has lost uh, their confidence in the school district because I don't believe that the structure is set up such that they have the ability to even communicate with us. That is a tremendous responsibility for the superintendent. We must find a way to reach out to the public, give them the confidence to know that we are taking care of business in a most professional and efficient way. I believe that our district at this time uh, needs strong business leadership. We've had as a school board uh, managed to uh, have to cut $8 million out of our budget and thank goodness our board working with the superintendent has been successful in doing so and keeping operations fairly the same. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hunter. We'll stay with you. Uh, do you think, do you believe that vocational opportunities need to be expanded in Columbia County Schools? And if so, how and under what circumstances, what mechanism, and how do we pay for it? Well, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Um, I've been on the board 24 years and uh, have always wanted to vocational programs to be expanded. I would like for vocational programs to be quality programs that can match the kind of services that the community needs and expects. Right now, the uh, building trades are so far out that many, many contractors are doing the work themselves and we don't have a viable uh, construction market. However, I've always felt that uh, if we could work towards building a vocational trades program uh, at our high schools in Fort White and Columbia High School, work a program where we can coordinate uh, these programs with the state standards for education and develop, develop ways for kids to have hands-on. I've talked to Chuck Hall out here at the college and asked is there anything the college could do and, and Chuck Hall says if you will get with me we'll work these programs out. Certainly we can create some avenues that would be seamless between the Columbia County School System and the community college. Um, with building trades down, of course, um, you might think that that might not be something that we should be looking at. However, I would disagree because I believe construction is going to come back, it's going to be strong, and we need to be poised and ready for that when the opportunity presents itself. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Burt, same question. What are your thoughts about uh, possible needs to, uh, possible need to expand vocational opportunities for our students? Well, I think our vocational programs are very lacking. Uh, it's hard to hire to hire a teacher that can do multi votech uh, programs and and produce a an end product which is a student who's ready to go to the workforce. However, out here at the college, they have some great programs that we could tap into uh, their certificate programs, so that when these kids graduate from high school. Not only do they get a diploma, but they get a certificate saying they're a trained welder, they're certified in, in uh, electrical work, or they're certified in, in autom automotive uh, repair, uh, small engine repair. So I really feel like, you know, we've got some good programs going. In Fort White, we had the CNA program where all the students uh, come out of high school, they're certified CNA uh, uh, workers so they can, they can, they're ready for the workforce. 
and we need to expand that. I know Columbia High School, uh, Mr. Getson has a great automo uh, automobile uh, diesel repair program. I think they won state championships this year. So we, we're on the right track, and it, but it's because of, it's hard to hire so many teachers to teach a full load of those classes, it makes it difficult to, to find that kind of person. Uh, so we really need to join in with the college out here and, and see what programs we can add to that. Thank you, Mr. Burt. Uh, Mr. Markham, same question. What are your thoughts about uh, vocational education in Columbia County Schools? Well, <clears throat> back in the year 2006, uh, Mr. Huddleston sitting next to me here uh, called me up when I was superintendent of schools and asked me would I consider putting him back at Columbia High School as a principal. And uh, I don't know how smart I was, but I knew Mr. Huddleston and he was a very good man. And uh, But anyway, I'm the man that gave Mr. Huddleston the opportunity to return to Columbia High School. And one of our earlier discussions was what he was going to do for vocational education at Columbia High School. And I'm sure when he responds here in a few minutes that he's going to tell you all the wonderful and great things that's going on at Columbia High School. And they are many good. The logistics program is great. But it's a fact, folks. Educational fact says that every student is not going to go to college. I believe that we're going to have to d develop over the next four years. We're going to have to develop people who can lay brick lay blocks, do air conditioning, do refrigeration, do welding. Any one of these jobs that I just mentioned, if, I'm, if the young folks are trained, they will be successful. My last year as superintendent, I was working right here at the Gateway College trying to get a program off the ground at Columbia High School where the students would come out here and the Aereo Corporation would train these young folks to go in and learn how to put nuts and bolts on screws. Unfortunately, I didn't get elected. I've never heard anything else about that program. But Sam Markham, if I have an opportunity, will put heavy emphasis on vocational and technical education for all our boys and girls in Columbia County. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Huddleston, same question. Uh, vocational education has always been very uh, dear to my heart. Uh, back in the early 80s, I served as the Columbia County vocational uh, president for our teachers for two consecutive years and uh, worked very closely with them. Uh, upon uh, returning to Columbia High School, uh, I could see how that our future is moving uh, in, the, in the near future. And so we were able to, at that time, create our Academy of Banking and Finance uh, in conjunction with First Federal, where we have uh, students that are employed in that area. If you go to a First Federal Bank on the weekend on the drive through you'll see Columbia High School students there. It is totally run by the students, and uh, these employees from the bank only show up on pre-described times just to do their uh, walkthrough. We also started the Academy of Entrepreneurship. If you've been in the same area, you've seen our school store. It looks just like a college bookstore. Our students have to produce uh, and order the uh, items that we uh, sell. They have to put them on sale. They have to do seasonal sales and clearance. Also, we have our Logistics Academy, which was uh, started uh, two and a half years ago when I realized with the opening widening of the Panama Canal there would be 50 to 75,000 new jobs from Lake City to Jacksonville between uh, 2015 and 2017. Uh, we'll have our students that graduate and already have students that have graduated. Uh, they can go to these distribution centers uh, at a minimum salary of $45,000 a year. They can receive uh, their national certification as they leave. That's the key to vocational education. You have to have that national certification like our, uh, like our CNA for our nurses, uh, culinary arts. Also, we're moving it into a building construction where they have to pass it as well as auto mechanics. I've been trying and working the last year and a half. It takes about two years to bring one of these programs about. I've met with representatives from the college as well as the airport and other individuals to be in a flight school academy at the airport here. It's all about getting kids involved it's important for the principal to take the lead. I can take this throughout the entire county, and I guarantee you I can improve it. Unfortunately, gentlemen, this is the that was the final question on our questions and answers. We are out of time for you. Uh, it is now time for each candidate to make a two-minute closing statement. And since Ken candidate Huddleston went first, he will go last. Candidate Hunter, 
You have two minutes to make a closing statement to the voters of Columbia County. Thank you, Mike. Um, first thing I would just like to say that um, for the last three months, I've had the opportunity to walk around the community and knock on doors and talk to you, the citizens in Columbia County. I get a sense and a feeling that uh, you have very little confidence in the Columbia County school system. I have the feeling that um, the sad part is that many of you are telling me that you're taking your children out of the school system. You're putting them in home schools or charter schools because you do lack that confidence. I think it's very sad because we have uh, a very strong employee community within the Columbia County School System who does a very good job every day. They are men and women who have gone to school to get their certification to become teachers to do their jobs. The one, the one real problem that we have in the Columbia County School District, and I'll say this to you again, is leadership. We do not have tough, hard leadership in the superintendent's job. And what I mean by that is it's going to take a leader who has got strong business background, who understands what it means to bring people together, to bring the administration together, to form the teams necessary to look across the district and make tough, hard decisions that are fair, consistent, and honest in every approach that we do. Serving on the school board and for the last few uh, superintendent terms, I've just seen this lack of confidence and, and the morale just drop and drop. The fact that we have lost $8 million over the last five years has been another situation where morale has dropped so, so poorly in the district that it's affecting people's uh, health and, and outcome. I ask you to please consider me uh, for superintendent of schools. I will work very hard to bring this district together to put us in the top ten because our employees will be the ones that get the job done. And I hope at the end of that day that my, my, our employees in the school district will believe that they were the ones that made the difference. Thank you. Thank you very much, Candidate Hunter. Time now for Candidate Burt to make a two-minute closing statement to the voters of Columbia County. Mr. Burt, you have two minutes. Thank you. I know I don't have the answers to every question and every problem. What I do have is the desire to make Columbia County the best in the state. We have some of the best administrative teachers and support staff in the state working here now. We need to be able to bring in more, and we need to be able to keep them here. Uh, we cannot keep doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. That's the definition of insanity. According to 2010-11 uh, uh, figures, 11-12 uh, not out yet, our teachers' pay ranked 59th out of 67 counties. Our schools ranked 48th out of 67 counties. We have two D-rated schools. We have 1,400 empty seats in our elementary schools alone. It's time to decrease the dropout rate by creating new programs that target at-risk students. The vocational programs will be a major part of that. We need to create more VOTEC programs and align with Florida Gateway College's vocational certification program. It's time to rethink our priorities, to boost morale and productivity by increasing salaries and benefits, to increase parental involvement and community support. I promise you I'll never be too busy nor too high and mighty to sit down with you, with uh, community groups, with parents, with peers, and talk about new ways of doing things. I will speak out to Tallahassee and make sure that we get all that we deserve and that we do will not waste taxpayers' dollars. It's time for a new way, not the same old way. It's time to vote, Bert. It's time. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bert. Uh, it's time now for a closing statement from Mr. Markham. Mr. Markham, you have two minutes to address the voters of Columbia County. Well, first I'd like to say that it's been a pleasure to have the opportunity to run for superintendent again, and I want to compliment my opponent sits sitting here with us. We have run a professional race. After all, we're all educators. Now, having said that, let's get down to business. Uh, it's all about results, and I want to just share some results that went on during my four years as superintendent of schools here in Columbia County. First of all, as a principal, I took five-point school and moved it from a D to an A in just one year, and it remained an A for three additional years after that. 
Think about this. When I took office in 04, we had five AB schools. When I went out in 07, 08, we had increased it. We had actually doubled it to 10. Uh, we had increases in reading, in math, and writing. For example, writing increased from, from 50 to 85 percent during my four years as superintendent. I'd also tell you that I'm very proud that I initiated the construction of Pine Mount Elementary School. And under my leadership, when the project come in, it actually come in $150,000 under what the cost was supposed to be. But folks, here's one important fact. I served four years with a decrease in budget. And during that time, I balanced the budget for four years and I gave the teachers and employees of Columbia County the best raise they've ever had which was 9%. And folks, it boils down to this. Education is a business, but if you don't have a love of children, you don't need to be sitting in the superintendent's chair. And I'm, I am dedicated to the idea that I'm going to donate 15% of my salary each month to benefit the needy children of this county. I love my county. I love my children. Thank you so much. And our final closing statement comes from candidate Huddleston. Mr. Huddleston, you have two minutes to address the voters of Columbia County. Thank you. First, I'd like to thank uh, Florida Gateway College and Lake City Reporter for hosting this event and allowing us to speak to uh, the voters out there in Columbia County. Uh, I have to agree, uh, education is big business. Uh, schools are big business. Uh, I have the privilege to be the principal of the largest business in the Columbia County School District at Columbia High. I supervise over 150 employees, I manage a multi-million dollar budget, and an internal account that accumulates to over $500,000 a year. Sometimes years have been $750,000, and I'd like to point out that on the audit findings for the last three years, I don't believe there's been a finding at all on the internal accounts. I also coordinate the schedule of 1,800 students, I meet with parents, citizens, and I meet with business partners not only in Columbia County, but all through the southeast. I've worked eight to 10 hour days for over 30 years. I've given my entire life to this school district. I love it, I love going to school every day, and that's one of the main reasons I'm uh, working for, towards superintendent to be with the boys, the girls, the children, and the teachers. I have a solid understanding of the curriculum, uh, pre-K through 12. At CHS, we are implementing the new Common Core Standards mandated by the state of Florida and 20 other states. These new standards will be implemented by 2015. The PARC, that's P-A-R-C, will replace the FCAT in 2015. The PARC is predicted to be much more difficult than the FCAT. I have to ask you this question. Who do you want to lead the district through this challenging and difficult curriculum change? I used an analogy last week to make a point. If you had to go to war, would you rather go, wouldn't you rather go to war with a general who had worked their way up from the bottom in the trenches fighting to be a private, a lieutenant, or whatever, or versus going with a, and base their decisions on everyday decisions and, that were tried and true, or you'd rather go with a general that had never been in the line of fire. The education of our children and the pos future prosperity of our county is dependent on this election. Please vote for Terry Huddleston, Superintendent of Schools. Thank you very much, and that concludes the final segment of our candidate forums. I'd like to thank the sponsors of our programs, uh, Drotty Insurance Services, Tommy Demas, Attorney at Law, Haven Hospice, and Potash Corporation of White Springs. I'd like to also thank volunteers who made this uh, broadcast possible, Michelle Quadras, Alex Gilmer, Mike Williams, Mike Lee, Trevor Hickman, Bruce Drotty, and Daniil Decker. We appreciate their support of our program. A reminder, early voting begins Saturday, August 4th. For Robert Bridges and all of the Government Relations Committee members of the Lake City Columbia County Chamber of Commerce, I'm Mike McKee. Please get out and vote and have a good night.